activist and actor, famed for her book and stage production, Vagina Monologues, is back in the country. The I Am an Emotional Creature, the Secret Lives of Young Girls Around the World playwright, will be hosting her speaker event, an evening with Eve Ensler, to discuss her work and life, both as an activist, a cancer survivor, and a playwright. Eve, welcome. Thank so you. nice to see you again. You welcome too. to South Africa. I'm so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm sure. It, it, it's, it's always a pleasure having you. I mean, tell us about this evening, though, because this sounds like something really, really interesting. What can you expect? Well, the, the evening that I'm going to be talking to Preg's governor is going to be very, I think, I'm very excited to be in discussion with her because I admire her so much. Yeah. And um, I'm going to be talking about both my um, new memoir, In the Body of the World, which uh, was a very intense journey um, in my body. I was diagnosed with stage 3 slash 4 uterine cancer out of nowhere. Sure. And it was actually at the same time as we were opening a wonderful place in Congo, in Bukavu, with the women in, in, in Congo. It's a place called the City of Joy which is a beautiful place that's now been open three years and has actually already graduated 400 young women. Um, it's a place for women who have survived sexual violence yeah. um, during the war and who have turned their pain to power and who are being educated and lifted and, and healed and loved and actually um, return to their communities as leaders mm -hmm. and are really transforming life all over the Congo. Yeah, that's amazing. That's incredible. Yeah, incredible it's really story. incredible. Y your, your story is also just as incredible. How are you feeling? I feel fantastic. Good. I'm happy to say that I'm four and a half years cancer free. Brilliant. It, every day feels like a miracle um, that I wake up and I'm alive. I just go, okay, it's a good day. Yeah, <laughs> People yeah. complain about things. I'm like, oh, really? Nothing yeah. to complain about. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> Body functioning. Yeah, um, yeah. But I also think it was a great, it was a wonderful process in a strange way. I mean, it was grueling and cancer is horrible. But um, I think if we go into these experiences with a mindset and a frame of transformation where we see this as a possibility of kind of removing what needs to go out of our body, out of our psyches, out of our beings, it can happen. And um, I feel much lighter these days. Yeah. I feel um, a lot went away that needed to go away and I feel much clearer and very happy to be in Johannesburg opening Emotional Creature. We start previews on Friday That's with an fantastic. amazing cast. Well, that, that sounds like an amazing thing because, I mean, we, we look at your book, The Vagina Monologue. I mean, it's been translated into 48 languages. I mean, that's, that's, I mean, that's almost unheard of. Uh, it's around 140 countries. Um, and now you've got this new production happening. Why do you think it's so popular? What, what makes Vagina mon Monologues the success it is? Well, I, you know, I, I, I was really surprised myself when it all started, and, and I, th I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we don't talk about the things we need to talk about, that still um, talk about what happens to our vaginas, what happens in our sexuality, what happens to our bodies is still so taboo. I think um, women have lots of secrets. Women have a deep desire to communicate um, their hidden lives and their hidden stories, whether they're the stories of hunger and, and desire or they're the stories of enormous abuse that they've never been allowed to tell anybody. And I think um, the play is also funny and I think it's alive and yeah. I think women get to express it. I just saw an amazing production in New York that was done in Spanish by amazing Latino women and they were so expressive and so alive and so passionate and, and I think that part of it is that. But I think we're also living on the planet where one out of three women will be beaten or raped in her lifetime. That's a mm -hmm. UN statistic. That is an epidemic. That, I, that is absolutely impacting every single one of us every day of our lives. And I think where there is a, where there is a space and there is a play to have discourse around that and to break that silence and, and to shatter those taboos, I think people are very um, excited about it. Yeah. Let's talk about the production. So you say on Friday it's starting. Uh, where is it going to be and, and how long is it running for? You have the details of the play. So I okay. do. Uh, my I brain do. has just suddenly fried Has it fried shut it. down on you? Yes, it has. Okay, let me have um, a look here. Um, I actually don't. Can you believe this? All right. I don't know uh, the time. Brilliant. I'm going to find them, though. Okay. I am going to find them. And so I'll, I'll find out. I'm sorry, my brain has shut down. but um, <laughs> My brain shuts down is too, it's too early. Too it is too but, early. Um, <laughs> it's horrible. But it's, it's horrible. a wonderful cast. It's an emotional creature. It's a play that I wrote about the young lives of women. 
Um, we originated it here in Joburg um, three years ago. We did the workshop at the Market Theatre. And this time we have two of the same cast members and four new amazing girls oh. who are really um, just profoundly talented. There's music, there's spoken word, there's monologues, there's dance. And I think it's really a play about um, the, the, the secret life of girls, but the girl in all of us, men and women, that part of us that is passionate, yeah. revolutionary, alive, um, not afraid, intuitive, and is willing to kind of take on all the things we need to be taking on right now. Oh, awesome. That's fantastic. It's absolutely amazing. So I'll find out the details. I okay. promise you. I'll I will read them out. What about another movie? Is that up your sleeve? In well, the pipeline? Well, I, I have a new play that's opening in the States in, in the fall, mm -hmm. and I'm hoping that's going to lead to a TV series. Oh, and, wow. And we actually, um, and there will be a film coming out um, hopefully next year um, a, about our work in Congo um, called Essence Road, um, which I'm very excited about. So. Eve, you, you are amazing, and, oh, and just keep you. on being amazing. Well, I'm I think happy you, to be in South yeah, Africa. I think you just inspire so many people, and it's just such a such a pleasure. So, okay, we're going to uh, find out exactly when this uh, the, the the production starts. We know it's on Friday. I'm going to give you dates and times and everything that you need to know. We'll find them. I've got my producer googling everything right now. And so also, we'll if all. young girls in schools want to come, yeah? we're bringing in buses of school, you know, buses of, of kids in the morning to morning performances, so they can find out um, by going to wherever your producer is going to <laughs> I love it. Eve, thank you very much. Thank Thanks you for coming much. in. Uh, Eve Emsler is uh, a Tony Award winning playwright, a performer and activist, uh, and is the author of The Vagina Monologues, which has been translated, as I said, into over 48 languages and performed in over 140 countries.